Hey folks, welcome back to Three Hits with Rosie. Breaking down the San Jose game tonight. A little bit scary at the beginning. Number one, Leafs got the job done. Got the win, 15-5, and five. we're happy. Was this a redemption game or was this a sleeper game as my esteemed colleague would call it? I didn't want to see any kind of reverberation back to the October days of that Eastern or sorry Western uh, road trip that they had, where they just let's be honest shit their pants against some very mediocre teams. Zero scoring in the first period, tied one one after the second period. I thought that the Leafs were dominating. They had the momentum. They were controlling the play, but they kept giving up these breakaways and two on ones and odd man rushes. And it was like, are they gonna you know do the classic? you know, be the better team and happen to give this game away in regulation. Luckily, in comes Pierre Engvall. Secondary scoring, absolutely love it. They get it done. Leafs win 15-5. and five. They beat the team they should have three win. All is well in the world. Number two, Mitch Marner. All eyes on Mitch. Didn't look like he had a whole lot going on. Low scoring affair. He wasn't on the score sheet. Luckily, we get ahead 2-1. Ingvall puts us ahead. We knew. I was sitting with a buddy at the pub. Get Marner out there for the entire 2 minutes and 40 seconds or whatever it was. He gets not one, not two, but three looks at it, man. It usually doesn't happen with an empty net. It's usually one of those things where you just can't find it. First one, he passes it for some unknown reason. He could have airmailed that into the into the net. He decides to pass it, blows that up. The second one's a guarantee. It like bobbled on his stick or something in the neutral zone. He couldn't find it. He couldn't pick it up. Goes quickly, gets it before the D-man jumps on him, misses the net. We're sitting here going like this. He's not going to get this record. Like he's not going to do it. He'll probably have three points against Tampa this week. And it just won't matter because this is all gone. Gets a hold of the puck buries it he's like the his face said it all he's laughing to himself going my god we all know about this streak I just got an empty netter on my third chance wonderful to see I love it keep the streak going he honestly deserves it man he's been he's been so solid he just tied you know Daryl Sittler and Eddie Olchuk for the you know for all the hundreds of hundreds and hundreds of people who have played for the Toronto Maple Leafs over the last 100 years and such nobody has gone on 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 a on a point streak like this except for Daryl Sittler and Eddie Olchuk and now we got the Tampa Bay Lightning next week all eyes are on it you're going to be the only guy to be on this long of a point streak in that in that tenure of the entire Toronto Maple Leafs existence pretty incredible I absolutely love that he got it done it was great to see number three Boreas Salming I can't leave this without touching on it it's the last tribute to him I love the way we did at least three tributes to him. It was about him. Then he was in town. You saw everything that he was. I mean, I still have visions of him grabbing his mouth, trying to hold his emotions as that disease is just tearing him apart. All of his ex-teammates that played together so many decades ago, the, the emotion that was in them still. And it seemed like he came to Toronto and held on and got to say goodbye and then he got back to home and let go and he passed away and this is our first home game since that happened and another incredibly classy tribute from the Toronto Maple Leafs uh his banner has been put in place and honestly I just can't say enough about the organization I can't say enough about his impact on the organization and his life and we should all be so lucky as to have lived a like a life like Borea Salming and and made an impact the way he did and I just I just can't say enough about the Toronto Maple Leafs and the the class A organization that they are and the way they honor their their past is like no other and that's one thing about being a part of that that I really noticed is the way they honestly pay homage no matter what's going on in the present what they do to their past and there's no better example than Borea Salming and and we're all very lucky to have been able to watch him come back and say goodbye to Toronto right before he passes away I just don't think there's a better story and I love that they again paid tribute to that so rest in peace God bless and Maple Leafs forever I love it